Jonathan Weiss. Jonathan, congratulations. And you're first on the list. Um, if you come up to the front afterwards, we'll give you a, a, a token for that door prize. Um, now, the door prizes are, uh, we've had some questions. They, are, uh, they include one of the tablets from registration, which is why we can't give it to you on the spot. Um, but they also have some Linux uh, Weekly News subscriptions and some swag bags from the Free Software Foundation. Ooh, ooh, lovely. Welcome. What an awesome conference it is so far, right? Um, some quick housekeeping from me. Um, a reminder not to share the Wi-Fi uh, too widely. Perhaps whisper it in your best friend next to you's ear um, and try not to put it online. Some housekeeping. A very quick reminder to keep your badges on you as it is security uh, for UTS security. It's your ID. Um, Building 11, ground zero, is open for us 24 hours a day. I've heard lots of late night hacking sessions are happening over there, so keep up the awesome open source work. Um, the Aerial Function Center and UTS uh, catering has been put on uh, down in the underground area and including the Unibar. Um, many of those venues will be closed uh, tomorrow. I'll have a bit more detail. So today might be your last opportunity to grab some of that awesome food. Take advantage of the hallway track, be social, take advantage of the quiet space in Building 11 if you need it. Uh, and we do have St. John's downstairs as well. Um, a quick reminder about using university hardware. Um, please use your own laptops and not the uh, devices around the floor. Uh, and that includes the tablets on the stairs. Those are for the art exhibitions as part of the university. They're not for the uh, schedule for the conference. So um, just disambiguating there. Now, if, uh, if you're waiting for someone at Rego, you're waiting for something at Rego, um, or you've left something at Rego, that will be closing at 5 o'clock, so make sure that you are there uh, bright and early to pick that up this afternoon uh, before Rego closes, otherwise it will be locked away until tomorrow morning. Next Day Video. Can I get a round of applause for the Next Day Video? <laughs> Who have been delivering Same Day Video, um, and maybe we could have a chat about a rebrand. Now, we are going to be able to put on a bit of stage magic today. Um, we've been working really closely with Jonathan to be able to put on a super exciting panel on Meltdown Inspector, which is um, particularly relevant right now. Um, a panel is a rare occurrence at LCA, and, and so uh, it'll be a little bit different, a little bit of fun. Um, you might also be asking about how on earth I got this fantastic shirt. Um, Jeff, are you in the audience, Jeff Wall? Jeff's not quite here. Maybe he's up at the back in the dark where I can't see. Um, Jeff put together these t-shirts on Teespring. The proceeds go to Outreachy. Um, I may have bought a few. Um, and so that's where you can get those t-shirts from. Um, the Spectre and Meltdown panel will be in here after morning tea at 10.45. Um, we've got a couple of panelists from a, a wide array of, of technical and community backgrounds to explore um, what it is, what it means, and how it impacts us as technologists. Session chairs. Thank you to everyone who was session chaired over the last few days. And we are looking out for more session chairs uh, for today and tomorrow. So if you would like to be a session chair, uh, you can go to rego.linux.conf.au, go to the schedule, and click Volunteer. If you'd like to know more about that, what it entails, and how to get involved, we're going to have a briefing just after keynote, before morning tea. And so if you've registered as a session chair, or you'd like to learn more and you haven't yet registered but you're curious, Come on down, and we'll tell you more information about that. Being a session chair helps put on a fantastic conference, and it's a great chance to introduce that speaker that you've always wanted to go and see. Birds of a feather sessions. So um, these are up to date as of approximately this morning, but as they're entirely self-organized, that could change. So keep an eye on the wiki. As of today, we have the Google Summer of Code boff in the underground bar at lunch, Raspberry Pi, yarning again, and an InfoSec Blue Red Mostly Blue boff. This afternoon, there is a key signing boff, a mini conf boff, in case you've ever wanted to run a mini conf at LCA, and adding pockets to things uh, sewing boff 2.0. This evening, we have the Google Open Source and GDG Sydney event. Uh, we also have the Professional Delegates Networking Session and the Unprofessional Delegates Networking Session. Uh, and if you're a member of the Open Source Industry Association, there is a special general meeting this evening as well. Um, you'll have more details about that if it applies to you. Lightning Talks. We've had some excellent Lightning Talks submissions, but we still need a few more. 
Make sure you register your name, your email, your talk title or topic, and if you're a first time speaker or not, and the table is just out here towards registration. We'll be closing that off at, Chris, are you in the room? Yeah. Like, closing it off at four o'clock so we can email you and confirm who's been able to um, be scheduled for speaking. Uh, lightning talk sessions are tomorrow afternoon. Fantastic. Tonight is the Professional Delegates Networking Session. It is at the UTS Aerial Function Centre, which is in Building 10. Building 10 is not part of the normal maps, and you'll find it between the Green Room and Building 11, and we'll have some additional signage and make it absolutely clear to you where that is and how to get there. If you're not going to the PDNS and it's not on your ticket, um, and on your lanyard, then we have an unprofessional delegates networking session, which is a self-organised uh, uh, networking session that is going to be at the UTS Underground Bar down on level three uh, behind the uh, Activate Marketplace. Now, uh, Chris and Martin have been uh, doing some fantastic work to organise that. They've also been able to arrange some sponsors to help make it a no to low cost event for you. Um, and the professional delegates networking session will finish at around 8.30. Um, as it is a, a drinks and nibbles type function, uh, many of us will be heading to the UnPDNS afterwards uh, to continue with food and beverage. So take advantage of the PDNS and the UnPDNS tonight. Um, and that sounds fun. Rolling into tomorrow. So tomorrow, yes, it is a public holiday. And that means that many of the local shopping centres, uh, food courts, and a number of the food outlets here at UTS will be closed. So, we have a barbecue. The coffee will still be running, and the barbecue will be out on Alumni Green at the back of Building 1 here on Level 3. Uh, we'll have a little bit more detail about that tomorrow morning, um, but the summary is, don't stress, we've got you covered. Safety. A quick reminder to bookmark linux.com.au slash safety. We've got a range of contact numbers, Twitter handles, and email addresses that you can contact if you feel unsafe, unwelcome, or would like to have a chat to us um, uh, throughout the conference. Code Club Australia. Now I'm going to do something terrible and swap over to here. And we're going to play a quick video from Code Club Australia. At Code Club, they're able to really achieve and they get a lot out of Code Club through their self-esteem, but also in just achieving you know, great things where they don't all, they don't get to do that in other areas. So Code Club is really special for a lot of my students. Code Club has made a huge difference at Croydon because the students are engaging with the sorts of skills that they need for the future. Code Club resources are amazing. Uh, I love the way that the students can read through them themselves, uh, but they also direct the students in ways to sort of extend what they're doing so that the students start experimenting rather than just following a script. They're actually designed as an, in an open-ended way so that the students really come up with some amazing products and they're never all the same. What I like about Code Club is that how if you make something really awesome, like a game or... or you, you like try really hard on something and then it just starts working. I like it because it's you can be very creative. With coding you just put something together and see what it does. So before starting the Code Club at Croydon there's really very little you need to do to prepare. Obviously you just need to make sure that you've got computers available for your kids. After that teachers can learn with the students, they don't need to know anything about coding. In a few words, Code Club is easy. Awesome. Creative, fun. Really cool. It really inspires you to try new things. If you want to volunteer and help kids like us code, go to www.codeclubau.org. I can't believe swapping between programs and playing a video worked seamlessly. <laughs> so Code Club Australia are, of course, our um, recipients of the charity raffle here at LCA this year. Um, raffle tickets are on sale online. 
Uh, so head to the website, buy lots and lots of raffle tickets because they go to an absolutely excellent cause. Um, if you would like uh, hard copy tickets and would like to pay cold hard cash, you can do so at the registration desk. Uh, I believe it's $2 a ticket and 3 for $5. Um, so buy lots of those. I believe Rojo is taking exact cash. Uh, so if you can, round up, uh, and it goes to an absolutely fantastic cause. Now, of course, these sessions can go on. There's lots of quick bits of information. If you've forgotten something, head over to linux.conf.au forward slash g'day, and I will keep that page updated with news and events from across the campus as the day rolls on. Uh, it's also a great page to summarise if you want to know what events are happening throughout the day. Sponsors. Now, of course, we couldn't put on a function like this without the incredible support of our sponsors. But instead of doing just a single round of applause, let's get a bit of a pace going. So let's, let's get a clap, 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 and keep it going, and faster, and faster. We have our Emperor Penguin sponsor, IBM, and our venue sponsor, UTS, and our King Penguin sponsor, Arnet, and a shout out to our Royal Penguin sponsors, our Delhi Penguin sponsors, Our Outreach and Inclusion Sponsor, our Fairy Penguin Sponsors, our Coffee and Catering Sponsors, keep it going, our Inkind Sponsor, and please help me welcome to the stage Conference Director James Polly.